We are in the end game. We've just revealed the world and more importantly, we've just realized that Tamar has actually launched her victory condition, which means we have at most 50 turns to stop her from winning. The first thing we're going to be doing is getting spies across our empire to deploy into Tamar's empire for the purpose of intel. We can't nuke things we can't see. We need to build a tunnel here and get through to obliterate Tamar. It will take us some time, but it can be done. Taking a look at the loyalty of the Kree Empire, we definitely need slash want to obliterate as many Kree cities as possible to facilitate the conquest of their empire. And so to serve that purpose, I'm going to get into position with my giant death robot and begin kablamming this city. I'm also going to be building airfields up here. And in the process of nuking these cities, I am going to need giant death robots to actually capture them. So this giant death robot actually needs to be brought up to the Georgian Empire's lands because only giant death robots can capture cities with nuclear fallout without risk of taking damage because they're immune to nuclear fallout. So let's begin the process of rebasing some bombers up there. And I also want to rebase a fighter up there ideally. So I'll begin that process as well. I'm going to redirect this spy to a Georgian city with a spaceport like Tbilisi so that we can try to blow up that spaceport so she can't speed up the rate at which she wins the game in as many places. Okay, I'm wondering where that volcano will go. All right, there's computers, which does give us a 25% tourism boost, which is nice, not particularly important. Now, global coalition could be useful for our artillery. So I'm going to take out liberalism and plug in global coalition for the plus seven combat strength because our artillery can mostly fire from our own territory. Ah, it's only if the attack is happening inside your territory. That should be important wording that they should update in that thing. Let's go ahead and capture this city. Dire Dawa has fallen and we can keep it. Now we still need to take out Ethiopia. That is important so that we can maintain a large and expansive empire. Information warfare is going to be really useful because we actually have quite a lot of uranium that we can use for both nuclear weapons and for giant death robots. So we're going to get to work on integrated attack logistics. We got the bank in Oli and Tambo. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a stock exchange and a nuclear device. The military academy in Portsmouth is done. Let's grab the stock exchange and a nuclear device. We need both gold and nukes. So where is the nearest aerodrome? It's over here. I'm going to airlift the giant death robot to my capital for the purpose of getting it up here so when we start nuking we can start advancing right away. The jet fighter can only be deployed over here although that should be actually fine to get his vision of the city for the nuclear bomb and it'll also get us access to more aluminium. I'm going to need a stream of builders in here to fix this land as as well. Dire Dawa has been hit. I will work on some builders in the nearby cities to get this city rebuilt. Taking a look at it, it's going to be quite a while before we can get it online. I'm going to tell it to focus on food and production. These hills will become terrace farms, I think. I think that's a reasonable set of decisions. And then the fat land naturally becomes lumber mills. And you might be saying, what's the point in doing this when you're on the road to victory? I, I'm, I'm fully committing to the idea that I need to do everything. I need to be playing at maximum capacity. There's no time limit here. I need to be playing at maximum capacity in every possible way. We can't pick up some gold from pillaging this, but it's not a safe pillage. Genizio and Gondar are flipping independent towards me, which is perfectly acceptable as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to rebase a fighter over here to get vision and begin the bombardment of Lalabella. Because if I can break this city, it should open up advancement through the Ethiopian lands. More of my bombers have leveled up. I'm going to rebase you to Jelonis. I'm going to declare a war of territorial expansion on Georgia. This will hopefully get, us, get her to refocus her units and we will begin the bombardment of the city of Poti. Okay, a nuclear submarine shot me over here, which is not the vibe that I'm looking for. So I'm going to strafe it with a jet fighter to take it out. You're going to promote with shrapnel to heal you. The jet bomber will continue to bomb Lalabella. And in fact, this guy is going to become a rocket artillery. Radom is going to start producing nuclear warheads for me en masse because I can do them every six turns. I got a bank in Cincinnati. And I do need to continue to generate more gold to sustain and upgrade my military. The more military I can upgrade, the better off I'll be. Let's pillage this for gold and continue to bomb this city. I'll rebase another jet bomber to the north. And now I have two jet bombers working on Pody. I don't want to use my first nuke on that. It's traveling two light years per turn. I don't like it, guys. I really, really, really don't like it. Let's send a spy to Gori as well over here in the west to try and blow up its spaceport. And shooting this machine gunner actually healed my giant death robot, which was really nice. We have just one nuclear device in storage. It's rough out there being a Imperial Empire. We have plus three error score for reaching 25 population and we have access to giant death robots. I will start producing giant death robots in my capital city, I think. So let's cancel these traders and begin the giant death robot. It's a 14 turn build time. However, I think it will be quite worth it. Let's go ahead and build a Capac Nan. Now we can melee this city. Question is, is it worth it to nuke it? We have three nukes now. Now I feel safe to nuke. So proceed with the w WMD strike. 
on Poti. And I decided to nuke this side of the city because there was less infrastructure. I don't want these mountain tunnels to get blasted. So now I want you to melee that city. And we've captured it. And these guys are immune to weapons of mass destruction. We are going to grab Victor and plop him in there. And then we're going to rebase the jet fighter to here. And we're going to use our gold ideally to buy a builder if I can sell some stuff to somebody for a little bit of gold. Okay, you've taken enough damage. Let's pull you back to heal. Now I have a jet fighter here that I can use on this giant death robot, which will shred him. Perfect. We'll move this rocket artillery. This rocket artillery has a range of five, which means it can hit it from here and it's going to savage that city. I want you to step in here, pillage this for gold. And then that gold should allow me to purchase a builder in here and start to clean up all this nuclear waste. Let's make the railroad. We're going to go ahead and unlock advanced AI to give drone air defense to our giant death robots and we're going to keep producing nuclear weapons every ounce of uranium that my empire produces needs to be pumped into nuclear weaponry so we can continue to train our troops on this fight down in the Cree lands I should be able to double attack with this tank to finish off this city our loyalty will start to become a big problem for them we're going to do a nuclear strike in Kutaisi. We want to kill this modern armor and this machine gun army. Let's proceed with a nuclear bombing mission. Our goal is to basically drop a nuke every turn. We need to dismantle her empire. Oh, look at that. Kaboom. This tank will disappear. Boom. And it's gone. That is the beauty of nuclear weapons. We'll be able to take the city next turn. This sort of nuclear warfare has to be done with giant death robots and builders in tow, which is why I have these builders advancing up through here. And eventually I will move up some tanks. I'm going to also nuke Zestafani because there's two machine guns here that I can dismantle and it'll also break the city, damaging their economy. Oh, <laughs> bye bye machine gunners. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so the nuclear strike has begun. The ground war follow-up will continue. We're waiting for more nuclear weapons to be finished. It'll take some time, but the more cities we can break and the faster, the better we're off. I totally muted myself and forgot to unmute myself when I took a quick break to get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I mean, not much has happened. I did just nuke another city once I got another nuclear bomb. I just feel a little silly, you know? Well, let's take the city and then take it. There you go. Okay, he's gonna have to take a turn or two to heal, but that's fine. I'm gonna need another governor and I'm gonna grab a Mani and plug her into Mitsketa, whatever the city is called. Build there first. Excellent. We got some more rocket artillery. And the more rocket artillery we can get to the front line, the better. Get this drone into the center of my artillery formation. We can begin the bombardment of Addis Adaba again with renewed vigor. There we go. We love to see it. Now we do have a giant death robot coming in to fight us. Thankfully, we also have a jet fighter ready to respond. I'm hopeful I can steal a bit of gold. Excellent. We got another modern AT. Let's go ahead and begin building more nuclear bombs. Manuku built a nuclear device. Well, guess what? Build another one. Pakrovka, I'm going to get a couple builders because there is a little bit of land in here. Like we need a mine right here. We do a little uh, reworking, retooling, rebuilding lumber mill we want a quarry right there then we want more lumber mills and these three tiles are actually out of range for the city so it can't do anything with them so i'll just put those little markers on it to tell me not to do anything with them pull you back for a heal let's upgrade this observation balloon to a drone because that's worth plus five combat strength and we'll blast the city it's basically ready to die and not quite the damage i was looking for there okay i think we can take this city now with a double attack from this modern armor boom captured a unit from the kree captured that city now there is a little bit of a loyalty problem in here mainly probably due to grievances, but we shouldn't have a long-term issue. Shocked by the loyalty still holding in some of these cities, although it's just barely going down now in here, just barely holding on up here. So I think if I take this city out, I think that's the Cree defeated. I think I also just captured Big Ben, which does get me another economic policy card. And there's quite a few decent ones I could plug in. There's a whole lot of amenities here in liberalism, and amenities do give me scaling bonuses for my empire. So if I could push a few cities up into that happy level, that'll give them a nice production boost. But you've got this many cities, amenities become just so incredibly powerful. Okay, let's make sure we're killing the enemy units as well. We need to dismantle her army. Now, how fast is she traveling? She's still traveling two light years per turn. So I estimate we've got about 20 turns to kill her. And I do think it's possible. Natural disasters, not important. How many nukes did I finish this turn? I'm hoping at least two. All right, let's have a look. Plus one error score for the first advanced AI. It looks like no nukes finished this turn. So we're going to focus our bombers and our airplanes on the killing of enemy units like that rocket already right there. 
go ahead and clear that contamination, improve that tile, break that, you move up here and get that railroad going, delete that tile. Let's research nanotechnology and smart materials, which gives giant death robots plus 10 combat strength on the defense. Rocket artillery is finished in here in Sousa. Could send that to the north to help us out. In fact, positioning it here in this city would provide the city with a bit of defense. I think it would be nice to get a couple extra military engineers building and repairing. We have finished Operation Ivy. Let's go ahead and get some thermonuclear devices. They are only slightly more expensive in terms of production. They're quite a lot more expensive in terms of uranium. There are a couple cities here that we could hit with two though. We did get the market here in Birmingham. Let's get the bank to keep the gold flowing. And you are going to go ahead and in Los Angeles, why don't you crack me out two builders and then a nuclear bomb over here. I want the builders to continue to improve my territory. Cincinnati should repair its broadcast center because it's already invested into that and then go ahead and build me a nuclear device. Boston has completed its sanctuary. So it created these really cool tiles that are very pleasant to look at. There's nothing else that I need or want to build in here. In theory, I could get a water park and give the local area a bonus to amenities, but I would much rather get nuclear devices. Make sure that we're spending all of this uranium that we've managed to conquer from all these people. Now, let's bombard this city. There's also a giant death robot over here being annoying. Nothing we can really do about it. We just have to accept our fate that that guy will be annoying over there. Now, over here on the Ethiopia front, we should be able to conquer this city pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. I will grab myself a rocket already. Although that gold might be better spent on a builder in this city so that I can actually get a unit into garrison it and hold it from a loyalty perspective. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to grab these two tanks and send them up north. These older models of tanks. Although you're still healing, so you're fine there where you are. Gondar and Gnizio are rebelling. I guess I'll use my bomber to finish this city off and then I should be able to yoink it with you. Perfect. We will keep it. Go ahead and crack out two builders. We've got a lot of rebuilding we need to do in here. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of rebuilding. So very many tiles that need to be improved. Let's go ahead and deploy this fighter over the Crystal Redentor as a show of superiority. Let's take a look at the vic victory track. Only Tamar is winning. We've got seven capitals captured. Nobody's getting converted. Diplomacy victory. Menelik is close. My score is insane. All right, I want to look for easy pillages that I can yoink. Potential easy pillages in here. I don't actually think I need these AT crews anymore. I may be able to, to delete them to save some money or I'm just going to throw them at the enemy as meat to get pillages. So you're not in range. Why aren't you in range? Because there's no drone over here. So let's get that drone there. And now you should be in range. Perfect. And you get plus five combat strength because you got a drone. And this is actually his secondary capital. Perfect. So we're practically immune to aerial retaliation on this left front. We've already beaten the Kree. Oh, wow. The giant death robot came in clutch there to take Lalabella back. So we'll need to do something about that. Thankfully, we are in a position to do something about that. There's the Mars colony. We've also got cultural hegemony, although I don't think we particularly need that one. Let's make sure we clear contamination. You're not actually healing in these cities. So I'm going to pull you back to Poti to heal. We're going to use our jet fighter to clear out enemy bullshit. We do have three bombers. We can drop three nukes this turn. Tukshumi is going down. Dun, 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 they defended it. Impressive. Well done, you. Well, let's nuke Batumi while we can. Gotta dismantle her empire piece by piece, if possible. There we go. That one went through. Oh, look at all this infrastructure. Ba-boom. And that is perfect. Industrial zone districts provide plus 10 tourism. Railroad here. Clean up this contamination with our builders. Everything is very, very messed up. Chop here. And we have one more nuclear bomb. See if we can't bomb this. Nalanda. Would love to liberate Nalanda, actually. That'd be a nice move if we could get that. Oh, they blocked it. Okay, they blocked my nuke. Stock exchange done here. This is where thermo nukes come in handy. Jet fighter, can you kill this guy for me? Thank you. How much aluminum do I have? I have enough to build some more bombers. Let me go back over to, was it Plymouth? No, it was Philadelphia. You get me another couple of jet bombers. It'll take him a while. Build me a nuclear device. You built me a nuclear power plant, which is excellent. You could get me a giant death robot. These are going to be the game winning moves. You got me a spy. Put him into Mogadishu, probably. I need to liberate Nalanda and Mogadishu and Kaguana. So many places I need to liberate. Let's get ourselves another spy. I'm really curious as to like what my rail network looks like now, because it must be crazy. I've still been building rail. <laughs> Look at that. It's everywhere, man. It's like a big spider web going through my empire. Industrial zones provide tourism. I don't think I'm winning a tourism victory here. Unless I kill Ethiopia, 
then it becomes like a maybe, right? We need to get rid of this giant death robot through any means necessary. Now I have a jet fighter, but he's reserved for killing this giant death robot. I could kill him with this, but I'd be, I'd be risky. Let's hide these so I can see what I'm doing. Right, you can shoot him. Is that a kill? Almost. I have a bomber nearby. I hate to waste the bomber attack on this, but it is killing another giant death robot, which I guess is a worthwhile task. We're bombing Michele again. You go ahead and take your promotion. You shoot there. You've already shot. You go ahead and shoot. You're out of range. It's kind of annoying. Pillage for faith. Pillage for faith. Can I buy anything useful with faith? I could get amenities for 9k. Yoink. And campus districts providing tourism. Yoink. For 10k. I'll take both of those. Why not? Disrupt rocketry. 37% chance. At this point, we just need to throw them away to try and prevent it. We can't really afford to have any more failed rocket launches. Kutaisi was recaptured. Now, if we can capture Kutaisi back, that does get us a giant death robot kill. Right, these two bombers need to heal. This one might be in shape. Let's get this jet fighter, shoot him, heal our GDR. We'll keep the city of Manchester. Um, and I guess we'll retool it. Lumber mill, lumber mill, lumber mill. We definitely want to nuke Tbilisi. So I'm going to nuke this tile here because I know there's no air defense on it. And it'll also take out the um, spaceport. Let's clear that contamination. All right, we got to wait for the nuke to go off. The fact that two of my nukes got blocked last turn is actually pretty bad. Also, I think I just nuked one of my spies. Clear that contamination. You already cleared contamination. Definitely need jet fighters up here. So I'm going to redirect more jet bombers to the north to help out. We've also got a small invasion from Korea here in the west. It's not a problem for us. Seasoned veterans of conflict could use some rocket arty over here. Fortunately, all my rocket already is tied up in conflict down here in the south sector of the map. I am going to go ahead and rebase my fighters north, though. I need more fighters to the north to defeat these giant death robots and their reprisal attacks. Plunder that trade route. I think I know what I need to do with my AT crews. I need to just send them in deep so they can pillage things to get me gold. Probably should have been what I have been should have been doing with them for a long time. It's all right. There's a little bit of a learning curve to this. I've never done this sort of total warfare domination style game. So you got to give me a little bit of forgiveness here. I don't think it was possible for me to do this type of game when I was, <laughs> I was unmedicated with ADHD. I didn't have the kind of concentration and commitment. Plus six amenities and we will also get plus 10 tourism from campuses. Excellent. Oh, jet bombers were attacked by Korean jet fighters. That's not good the jet bombers in these airfields were attacked so jet fighter take out this giant death robot another giant death robot death let's kill you as well another giant death robot falls these two jet bombers are a little bit hurt what i need to do is to deploy a mobile sam to there i don't know if i can get away with that however i'll put a modern armor standing on this and then i'll re rebase a jet fighter here to try and protect them it looks like they're trying to bum rush my capital which i appreciate the chungus damn my nuclear invasion has been stalled and it don't feel good. Okay, major victory against this guy. I think we do have to just keep attacking with our bombers, sweep away enemy reinforcements, race against the clock here. We're in position for a few pillages. We'll pick up a little bit of cash, actually quite a bit of cash. Mikele has fallen. We will keep that city, repair the outer defenses and begin the construction of new builders. Terrace farms galore. Okay, I'm gonna look for my airports here and I'm gonna see if I can rebase my artillery to the north. Damn it, the airport is pillaged. Closest one is down there. I don't like this. She's halfway to winning. I need to kill her. Where are my nukes, baby? Give me some more nukes. Come on. Okay, first things first. I need to deal with the giant death robot problem. There's another giant death robot over here dead. I need Kutaisi damaged, which means I need this giant death robot dead. All right, so that giant death robot is now dead. We can damage Kutaisi. Can't quite take it this turn, but we're working on it. Deploy a jet fighter to this tile, and he should be able to have a much easier time clearing out some of these guys. Go for advanced power cells. This will make our ranged attacks better. Let's get started on another giant death robot. Nuclear device completed in Ali and Tambo. Let's get started on a thermonuclear device nine turns away. We got the bank in Birmingham. Let's get that stock exchange. Okay, jet bomber here has leveled up. I think what we want is tactical maintenance so they heal after attacking. Uh, Super Fortress is nice, but I want that tactical heal. And you can start to see why I think b being able to suppress the enemy's ability to fight back is far more important than actually being able to attack cities effectively. Because if your enemy can't fight back, you can just take the cities in your leisure. All right, the great airlift is underway. 
to my capital city. I'm diverting artillery forces from the southern front to the northern front. I thought I could take these fights with less firepower than I actually brought. Georgia wants peace. I refuse. Unfortunately, if I were to peace her out, I would lose the game. So I don't actually have a choice. Okay, the Kutaisi needs to go. Unfortunately, there's a giant death robot in there. Let's poke down some railroad inside enemy lands, which will allow me to capture Batumi. We'll keep that city. Can I squirrel a builder over there? And clear the contamination. Excellent. So this tank won't get extra hurt. Let's see, any giant death robots looming? No. Let's take out this rocket artillery. Jet fighter. Move this rocket artillery up into range. I do want to move my GDR out, so I will. I'll move the rocket artillery with a drone to here. And I want one more rocket arty in the city. Ideally with this supply convoy in tow. So we'll move you to there with a supply convoy. And then I want a mobile SAM if I can get it. I will take the anti-air gun and upgrade it to a mobile SAM, protecting these guys from retaliation. And now we can begin the bombardment of Kutaisi. Now I've got three artillery in here, with a single turn of airport redeploying. Can I take Kutaisi? I need just a tiny little bit of damage on that city. So I'm gonna hit it with this jet bomber and that jet bomber will get hurt, but now I can retake this, capture the builder, reinforce the loyalty in the area and start building builders to fix the land. We've got a nuclear device in here. You're gonna take too long to build a nuclear device. So instead, you get me more jet fighters. The sanctuary over here in Jelonis that is not meant to be particularly useful. Could get the commercial hub. I'll pop it right there. Want that gold. Nuclear device completed in Valencia. Let's go for the bank to get more gold. Gold is very important to me at this point in the game. I do want the archaeological museum here so I can clear out some of the uh, archaeological dig sites. I do want this uranium as well. I'll put a mine on that. There's a drone that I can redeploy to the front line. I can place a rocket already here. We can't quite hit anything at the moment, but that's fine. Okay, I've got a wave of builders coming in through here to fix all this land. Okay, there's our modern armor. I'm going to move this modern armor up as well. And then I'm going to move you to defend this tile with the mobile SAM so they can't do what they did to us before. You're going to promote unless you have a target. No, I'm going to deploy you to here. Oh, wow. Yeah. No wonder we couldn't nuke this city. Might be able to nuke right here. I'm going to try it. Boom. Perfect. Straight on to gory. Look at that. Oh, more games need to have nuclear bombs. I'm just saying. Okay, we do have more nuclear bombs available, but nothing in range. This city is safe to rebase to, so I will base a jet bomber out of here because I can do a little bit of nuking in this area. This city is also safe to rebase to, so I'm going to rebase to Kutaisi. I love that they're just throwing units at Ali and Tambo. I like, I appreciate it. I appreciate the must, the sus. All right, Global Warming Initiative has started. These two cities flipped independent, as did Mkchketa. I'm going to bomb it first with regular bombs, and then I'm going to hit it with the GDR to capture it again. Sweep a builder over there to clear contamination. We got a new GDR in the capital. So if we can drop a nuke, should be able to pull it off. If I nuke right here, you're too low health. I need a high health bomber. Uh, clearing contamination takes a charge. Okay, I didn't know that, so I shouldn't use my military engineers on that. Okay, this city will have to be taken by brute force, but that is something I have in spades because I can brute force cities, no problem. Let's go ahead and stick a money into the city so that we can keep its loyalty high. You make me some builders to repair all this land and fix it up. Brute force we have. Builders we lack. Clear this contamination. It's going to make our life harder to position artillery over here. We also need to capture Tbilisi soon. That's what the giant death robots are for. Okay, two cities flipped independence over here. Mostly my work over here is going to be completed by builders. I don't actually have a reason to continue the conquest. I've kind of achieved the immediate aims that are required for the victory of the game. I don't know if she won or not, but it's going to be close. It's saying she won. I hope she didn't. Please, no. I still have time. Come on. Don't do this to me. Nuclear bomb on Nalanda. Proceed. Hit him up. Come on. There we go. That's what I like to see. Hit him with the nuke. Capture that city. I need this nuke to land. Right here. Come on. Ah, Too much damage. Surprised at how tanky this thing is. But liberating, liberating Nalanda isn't particularly important. But it just means I don't have to deal with quite so much BS. All right, cybernetics will give my giant death robots extra mobility. We are breaking Takshumi. It is happening. It's just like not happening on the timeline I want. Oh, we're taking damage over here, man. We're losing units. Please, God, don't let Korea or, or Georgia win. She's close, but she hasn't won yet. One of my giant death robots is in bad shape. Clear that contamination. Clear that contamination. The city of 
Tukshumi is falling. Tbilisi is ready to pop. We built a nuclear device down here. Let's get a thermo nuke going. A thermo nuke en route. And then another stock exchange over here. Thermo nuclear device. We're now out of uranium. Let's get ourselves a couple builders. We are deep in it, my guys. Okay. That's really annoying. It told me that he could make it all the way to this city and then his it movement got interrupted. I'm really frustrated at the game now. Let's nuke Mogadishu right here to kill all three of these units. Well, actually, I need to nuke it right there. So that will kill four units. Perfect. Mogadishu is down. Mogadishu is actually one of the cities we can liberate, which will give us a huge gold increase. Mogadishu belongs to me, getting me a whole bunch of extra cash across my empire. Unfortunately, I will lose a tank for this. Oh, Jet Fighter can get this kill. Perfect. You need to promote cockpit armor. Excellent. Railroad there. Repair road there. Okay, this modern AT needs to be blasted. All right, man, it's all coming together. It's all happening. This poor little modern armor is going to get shredded, unfortunately. Gentle eruption. Information error ends in 10 turns. Thankfully, my giant death robot did survive. I don't know how close she is to winning, but it's got to be real close. It's only traveling one light year per turn, so we have managed to slow it down somehow. I don't know. Maybe we turned off a laser or something. Future Civic completed. All right, it's down to the wire. Honestly, if, if this was like an anime, the, the boss music would be playing let's take shells and the repair come on i'm gonna damage the city with you i'm gonna take it with you another city has fallen we keep it shoot the boats to get them out swip down here repair the defenses i'm gonna deploy you to here kaguana could be liberated soon buy a builder in tbilisi to help the city rebuild railroads are being stormed along geneva is vulnerable another city we can liberate we're nuking it oh <laughs> look at that yeah baby now that's a smash hit. A beautiful, beautiful sight. Do have a couple more bombs if we want to drop them. Uh, I think we can get a two for one over here. I would require a war with Russia. And you know what? I ain't afraid of no Russia. Shock the AI hasn't nuked me back, but we're going to go ahead and commence a bombing mission right here. It's going to be a two for one city splash. Kaboom. Juicy. Okay, taking a look at Tolstoy, possible things we can do with this city. I think I'm going to yoink this iron and the few tiles around as well. Bum, bum, bum. And then we're going to build a couple builders. I got another modern armor up here that I can sweep up to the north. Hell, why don't you go ahead and get me yet another modern armor? Thank you. Nuclear device done in here. I want thermo nukes now. I have seven nuclear devices, which should be more than enough. So now I want thermo nukes because they are less reliant on certain things. I also want to nuke Kaguana if I could find a bomber. I would have to nuke my own jet fighter, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to hold off on that. So Siban Bolivar has also launched the Exoplanet Expedition. Unfortunately for him, he's going to be on my shit list now. Give me a few turns and we will handle him jet fighter can go ahead and kill this giant death robot they must be just spamming those things out at the rate they're losing them never mind building them it ain't over yet we still got to capture a few cities we grabbed gory perfect we will keep it geneva's already been nuked hopeful that you can get this kill for me perfect let's liberate to geneva all right we got a gdr over here let's drop a nuke right here in kaguana so we can liberate it george has got two more cities we need to take out that's it. And then it's a wrap. I need a fast unit. No one can get there. Well, I could take this with this unit. Bring you to here. I need to get rid of this giant death robot. So let me grab this jet fighter. He's out of range. Okay. Jet bomber. Let's get this kill. Perfect. Another giant death robot falls. This is it. We're right there. We just need two more cities to be taken. I need to get something in range of Kaguana. Clear contamination. Railroad. I think our next step is to just nuke the capitals and go for the Hail Mary. I don't think there's really a point in continuing to grind through on warfare fronts. Not when we can just drop the bomb on Seoul, Bogota and St. Petersburg and then be done with it. Harvest here, start another builder. All right, we've got a bunch of city states liberated that are going to give us a bunch of extra yields, which I am very, very happy about. All right, I'm going to nuke Seoul to send them a message that I'm not messing around. The AI shouldn't really be able to deal with getting nuked. I'll nuke my cop as well, I think. <laughs> Get nuked, loser. And I'm going to nuke Dejan as well. Although I'm a little bit worried about there being like missile cruisers here that could potentially prevent this. Oh, yeah. So this should open up a pathway for me to rush their capital. Don't let her win. This is my chance to reclaim the title. Okay, clear contamination, repair road, repair road, railroad, railroad. Caguana is mine. We liberate. That's a culture city state right there. Beautiful. 
Where's my bombers at? You, bomb this. Jeonju has fallen and now it belongs to me. Thermonuclear devices are being queued up. We did get a stock exchange in here. I do believe that if we're not building thermonukes, we want modern armor to roll through our enemy's territory. Oh, we can get some rocket arty onto Guanju. These guys can rip down cities very fast in conjunction with tanks. Rebase some bombers onto this front as well. Omalo has fallen and Georgia is dead. Their win condition is eliminated. They can no longer win a science victory. Only Sejong and Simon Bolivar who threatened the victory now. But now we have the war machine. The war machine is turning. This time they will not be able to stop me. There isn't a shadow of a doubt in my mind that I am capable of winning this game against all odds. You show me a game where you started in my start position and you show me a win, I'll give you a goddamn medal. Okay, predictive systems is finished. We also have distributed sovereignty. Let's go ahead and continue to research cheap techs. All right, we wanna get rid of this weak unit here. In order to kill this guy, I would love to bomb him, but I can't afford to do that. Can't really attack him neither. So we just have to kind of play nice for a turn while we try to get ourselves together. We can potentially get a rocket artillery in range to damage him. And then maybe if we can get enough flanking bonuses, we can get a kill on this giant death robot with an AT crew. Let us declare a war of terrestrial ter territorial expansion on Simon Bolivar. Harvest resource. Slowly the transformation of nature takes place and we convert our empire into something akin to godhood. Okay, Guanju is next. We shall blast the city with our rocket arty. There we go. And now we'll take it. Kaboom. It belongs to me. Keep that city. We're a step away from Seoul. Well, let me tell you, I got Seoul, but I'm not a soldier. Unfortunately, the only way to prevent a uh, science victory by someone is to completely eradicate them. So the nuclear bombs will continue to drop until morale improves. Bum, ba bum, bum, bum. Ba -bum, bum, bum, ba -bum, bum. All right, we're now running low on nukes again. We're down to two in our arsenal. And the strategy remains a slow grinding advancement. Now I could rush down Seoul and all their capitals, right? And that's something I could do, but I, I feel like that would take the soul out of the game. I mean, I am gonna kill Seoul right now because it's, it's time. It's on the front line. It's the next city in my way. Should I just wrap the game up and kill it and just nuke? No, I kind of, I kind of want to do a world conquest. I want to kill everyone. I want to, I want to control the whole map. And amazingly, now the majority of my cities are ecstatic or happy, thanks to the amount of amenities that I'm getting from my government. Right, 53 from liberalism. Now it says five from sports media, but remember those are AOE amenities, so that's insane. And then 54 from Republican legacy. So we are nailing the amount of amenities we need. All right, I'm gonna nuke this encampment, which should spread nuclear democracy to Guayaquil and Barinas. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a tasty nuke right there. Oh yeah, mm-mm, mm. -mm, mm. Yep, that's 20 turns of contamination right there. That'll take a little while to buff out. Okay, my riv will be blasted back to the ancient era. I do in fact need a tank from somewhere. Help. I need a tank. All right, nice. We've got a giant death robot over in Susa. Let's send it into my roof to take it over. Kaboom. We've taken the city and then we can use this to capture these irradiated cities as well. I could liberate the city. I'm going to go ahead and keep it to myself. Would you go ahead and get me another giant death robot since you can't build airplanes? You got yourself an aerodrome. Well, 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 why don't you go ahead and get me jet fighter and a jet bomber? Lovely. We've got another GDR. Can I use this one to help finish off the Cree? I'm gonna go ahead and recommission my nuclear reactor to prevent it from exploding. Okay, let's take Gyeongju, get in there, blast it. Yoinkerino, that's mine. Can't quite to get the gang young, so we'll take Daijon. And the battle continues. Now, I am cutting out a hell of a lot of footage because I have hundreds of units. I need to move every single turn. A nice thermo nuke here can hit two cities, so we will drop a thermo. That's a wrap and a crap, no cap on the enemy's fuck stack. Hell yeah, baby. Let's rebase a fighter over here. I think it is time that we rebased our airboats around a little. I don't know why I wanted to call them airboats, but I did. I got a nuke heading over here to Cartagena to India. Right, we definitely want to liberate Cardiff. I think we'll be finish off Korea mostly with nukes. Do 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 do
I have a super hardcore take on the Forex genre. One of the big problems in this genre is people can get ahead and people can get behind and think snowball. But each distinct era of the game is actually super interesting. But not if like, if you had a bad cla a t ancient era, you're gonna have a bad classical era. Whereas it's kind of cool if everyone starts here and plays here. But the problem is like all the choices you made here leads this way. So I think it'd be kind of cool if there was like a version of Civ where each era had like a distinct sort of win condition. You know what I'm saying? Let's take Kostromskaya. It's a 20 pop city. I should make the loyalty in here just go super negative. I'll take Sangju in my city. I got so many trade routes I haven't built. Who even owns these tiles? 800 gold for a settler at this phase of the game is kind of funny. But I am going to settle a city here, right there. We're going to put a little aqueduct here couple terrace firms, couple lumber mills. Hey, listen, I'm building a utopia here, okay? Okay, this GDR needs to die. I'm not exactly in a position to do that to him though, am I? Well, I'm doing my best. But the reality is there's only so much progress I can make on a, on a turn. This is definitely thermonukable. Hansa could be a great nuke. Where is, do I have a tank nearby? I do. Boom, Hansa. Wouldn't you want a Hansa if it's Hansa. Oh yeah. All right, Hansa was taken out and we're gonna build a railroad to it so we can recap it. Bring you in there, jet bomber, clean him up. We do be bringing up the Rarty, AKA the Rocket Rarty. Not to be, be confused with a Shouty, which is something I fully don't understand. Okay, we're gonna keep this city. Blast this boy. Okay, I need a tank to take him out. I guess I could level you up. You're good against cavalry. Got no tanks in the area? I got a, like even a GDR or something? Nothing? Got a couple tanks up here to the north. I can get it next turn. I got a tank in range. Let's bomb Cardiff now. So Cardiff and Hunza both need to be liberated. In fact, it would be nice to liberate both. Boss, we're not a rush. Although wait, did I already try to nuke Cardiff? No, I didn't. Okay. Look, I'm just an international war criminal. Like, what do you want from me? I don't even, I don't even know what the city of my Riv is. I'm gonna be real with you. But I think more cities flipped independent or something because I heard the smashy smashy noises that usually indicate cities flipping independent. City state emergency pass. Oh, I was not party to that emergency. We now have access to seasteads, which is, I guess my people live on the sea now. Uh, and I think we've researched every civic in the game. It's kind of interesting that I can trade with people I'm at war with. I should really get in the habit of checking this thing on the right. It's something I should really get in the habit of doing. So we take a look at the city of Gondar. We're gonna grab a granary and slowly build a thermonuclear device in here. Although actually Gondar is a brand new thing. So three builders in here. One, two, three builders. Oh yeah. And you know what time it is. It's time for the lumber mill spam. Nice, I got a jet fighter. I wanna kill this giant death robot, he needs to die. So we can start to bomb Adwa now. So jet bomber, jet fighter, start producing those. What do you got here? Oof, got so many tiles to fix here. Go ahead and take Chongju. Capture the city of Chongju, thank you. You, can you take Cardiff? Thank you, we will liberate Cardiff. Skadoosh, that's not where I wanted you to be. That is gonna require me to sadly nuke right there, which I didn't wanna do. I don't wanna, like, I think I've nuked Korea enough at this point. I think I saw a fish with three eyes. The mutations are dangerous, bro. Okay, Quito is ready to be captured. Cartagena, if I remember correctly, got nuked. So Maracaibo is our next target. Why don't you go ahead and capture Guayaquil for me? Perfect, we'll keep that. Okay, I need a rocket already with a drone. Oh, hey, we got a live one on the front line. Well, I guess we'll just move forward and start cleaning up enemy units. Go cap Hunza for me, please, sir. Thank you. Uh, we will go ahead and liberate that to Hunza. And Hunza is a gold city state, so we love to see Hunza on the map. Oh yeah, now we can start spamming these Nazca lines and get some really nice desert tiles. Perfecto mundo. The information era ends in two turns, which is kind of fun, considering how long we've been in this era. How much has happened in the last very small number of turns? Like, I think, how long has this episode been? What is it? It's been like literally 30 turns, and the, like not even 24 turns, and the entire world has changed, bro. Hoping some of these thermo nukes will finish soon. There's nuclear submarines. It looks like a thermo nuke did in fact finish. So let's take Gang Nyung. Boom, it belongs to me now. And then we'll take Gimhae. Boom, it belongs to me. I had wanted to take the city traditionally. Nice, we got a thermonuclear bomb in the capital. I think we'll go ahead and build a jet bomber and a jet fighter to continue to expand our size of our air force. It's important to keep expanding that. I think we're basically ready to take this city, which should be the last Cree city that will stand before us. We'll keep that there. 
This one is flipping slowly. We just need to take Macwa. So let me go ahead and buy you a drone, which should allow you to see the city and shoot it from here. Go ahead and take that promotion first. So you can do a little bit of extra damage there. Get the city repairing. So, so many builders. But look how improved and productive my empire is. I mean, like if I just go by cities and I search by resource yields, look how many of my cities are over 100 production because of this. Look how many are over 60 production. The majority of my cities are extremely high production because I'm spending a lot of my time building builders and microwing. This gold income doesn't come from nowhere, lads. All right, GDR needs to capture the irradiated cities. So he'll crab Cartagena de Indias. We'll keep that city. I don't really want to nuke this guy anymore. My artillery is here, so it can do the thing that I need it to do, which is to say we can basically raise the city in a single turn. Just about, not quite, but it's close. All right, let's settle this city right here. Boom, it should steal all of its adjacent tiles. And by steal, I mean claim. Let's build that aqueduct right there. Oh, I heard a nuke launch. Oh, shit! He's nuking the capital, bro! <laughs> Oh shit, get builders to the capital. The old, that was the Hail Mary. Fucking fuck you from this dude. This dude built that nuke over the course of the last like 50 turns. It's like, you know what? Before I die, I'm sending a message. God damn, all right. Message received, bro. Loud and clear. All right, future is civic, perfect. Maracaibo will fall this turn. Let's get this. We're gonna Thermo nuke right here. No, right here. Because this will hit Bogota and Kumana. Kumana? Kumana. I don't know how to say it. Also, what's up with these mountain tunnels, dude? I don't think this is necessary. There should be a thing where the AI should be like, you know what? Maybe I should stop making mountain tunnels. I just, I think the AI should just realize at a certain point that it doesn't need to make more mountain tunnels and accept that it has enough of them. Okay, Maracaibo has been captured. Next up is Panama, I think. Where is... I need a drone. And the reason I need a drone is because I need the vision. Okay, you need to get to here. There's the vision. Okay, we got to recommission some nuclear reactors here. Start blasting this city. Take them out. I got something in the nearby area to do. Nope. It takes a while for things to get built, man, at this phase of the game. Like, in actual human time, not in game time. Like, in game time, it takes a normal amount. Let's use our jet bomber to get rid of this giant death robot. Adwa needs to be broken. God, where are they getting these giant death robots from, bro? Can we hit it? Come on, give me a little hit. No, nope. okay. <gasps> can we hit it? Perfect. Adwa has fallen. All right, we got ourselves a new era. Now, I can go for automaton warfare again and get another free giant death robot. I think that is the best move because it will accelerate my victory. Let's go ahead and take this city real quick. Kaboom. That is the Kree Empire wiped off the map. I apologize to the Kree. Love you, buddies, but it just wasn't to be. Apparently, I got a great admiral. Askers is what went through my head when that popped up. All righty, we got ourselves a couple thermo nukes so we can speed this up mightily. We have have captured the second last, I believe, capital that we need in order to trigger a victory. Let's go ahead and capture this city as well. Yoink Arino. We do a little yoinking every now and again. In these newly captured cities, go ahead and make some builders because that's what you need to rebuild your land. I do have another governor title. I keep getting governor titles because I have hit the end of the culture tree. And when you hit the end of the culture tree, well, that's what you get. You get governor titles. And that's, uh, well, that's just how the game works, kind of. Oh, unfortunately, Cusco got nuked, though. So we got to do some repairing in there. All right, let's deploy our jet fighter over here. This should be a pretty straightforward conquest of Panama. Go ahead and take that city. Yoink Reno. Papayan will flip on its own. Let's push. Oh, not there. No, 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 no. Uh, but let's push the artillery forward to begin the conquest of Caracas. Oh, is this a triple city? One, two, three. It's a triple city thermo nuke. Oh yeah! Look at that. Now that is a thing of beauty. Smells like uranium. This city is flipping. This city is flipping as well. So we don't need to conquer cities that are flipping. That's the beauty of a conquest game. I mean, we can if we think it'll speed things up, but we don't have to. That's the important distinction there. Buy a little settler to drop right there. A yet bomber can hit Caracas. We've had yet bombers, but can we have Yas bombers? St. Petersburg, more like St. Peter's, Blurg. Let's take it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we got the victory screen. Congratulations to me. You are welcome, people of YouTube. Now, if you want to see the super secret bonus video, well, you gotta make this video pop off. The super secret bonus video where I conquer the rest of the world. Although, to be honest, that's not gonna be very interesting, but it would be interesting to like go through this and, you know, do all this stuff. I don't think there's gonna be a secret video. I think I've more or less reached a point where I'm kind of done. I mean, a lot of these cities are flipping towards me. I have the weaponry required to to clean it up. It's only gonna take me like maybe, you know, what, five more turns to clean up a lot of this stuff. Like Ganju, I can just nuke it and then hit it with this. But I have the resources, I have the capability, I have the technology to do it. But as far as I'm concerned, I, left the door to the bathroom behind me open, which is making it sound extra echoey. A few moments later. Now it's a little bit less echoey in here. It's got a little, it's got a little bit more zhuzh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We did it. I feel like this is a good enough place to leave the game. Most of our empire is happy somehow. Managed to keep that. But the vast majority of my tiles are actually improved. If I, let me see if I can hide map pins, hide city banners. Like, look at this empire, dude. It's like, have, there's, there's very little of it that is unimproved. Sure, there's a little bit of nuclear winter going on over here. Don't worry about that. That's fine. I kind of do wish that the game kind of modeled like some of the catastrophic effects of nuclear fallout. Kind of wish, the, I just kind of wish there was more sieve to sieve, you know? I love Civ, and I just want more. I just want more. I gotta call that the end of the video though, and the end of the series. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.